just why is diabetes thought of as an irreversible disease? Is it irreversible? I'll tell you my opinion on it. Quick answer, the answer is no. <laughs> Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Jones, a holistic obesity expert. I work with medical practitioners and we focus on metabolic health, obesity, diabetes. We wanna help our patients conquer these diseases with medications if needed, wean off and maintain health for the rest of their lives. Okay, so by the way, diabetes, obesity, I think they come from a lot of the same mechanisms, insulin resistance and inflammation being the biggest drivers with individual variability between people that have diabetes and obesity. But diabetes is a struggle, right? When you become diabetic, which is your A1C hits 5.7, that's pre-diabetes, and then 6.4 is diabetes. A1C is a measurement of your, of your blood sugar average for the last 30 days, is, is what that tells you. So you hit pre-diabetes and you hit diabetes. This, this wasn't a process that just out of nowhere started right before pre-diabetes and now you've been dealing with this issue for a year or two. Your body has been fighting the blood sugars, trying to keep it from rising for, for what we think is probably more likely three to five years. You were contributing to the body's disease process, which in my opinion is an overconsumption of glucose, oversimplified, but an overconsumption of carbohydrates and eventually your body's ability to do something with those carbs, get, get it out of the blood, it's failing. And so now blood sugar rises, right? So when we boil this down at its basis, it's an overconsumption or a not enough burn, because kind of the same thing, of carbohydrates. And so now our blood sugar rises and what do we do? We prescribe medications. First it's metformin usually. And metformin is going to decrease blood sugar by preventing its release. But I thought the issue was the fact that you are not able to handle the blood sugar and store it because it's full. And now you're given a medication that prevents its release. And so what happens to almost everybody who starts metformin? First, it's a little bit of metformin. Then it's a lot of metformin. Then they need more medications. First, it's a little bit of sulfonylureas. Then it's a lot of sulfonylureas. Maybe some other medications. Maybe some GLP-1 medications, which are one of my more favorite uh, medications for diabetes or obesity. And then they progress to a point where they might need insulin. First, it's a little bit of insulin. Then it's a lot of insulin, right? So this is a problem that started from the get-go of, in my opinion, was uh, an issue of just not being able to burn the amount of carbohydrates that you're consuming and treating it from that symptomatic point of blood sugar and not from the overstuffed issue. Because if you were to focus on that, it would, the mechanisms, the, the, the issue wouldn't have continued to progress. And so this is why diabetes is literally talked about and thought of as an irreversible disease, in my opinion, is totally reversible or or goes into remission, that's, that's a fair conversation to have. But just look at the American Diabetes Association website, 2019, they talked about diabetes reversal, what it takes, the criteria. So we know it's possible, but can it happen? What do you need to do? That's the controversy, that's where it all comes from. Guys, uh, if you're in Denver or Colorado Springs, you guys gotta come check us out. We have this insurance cover treatment called PIR therapy. Uh, physiological insulin resensitization therapy. It's covered by insurance. It gets to the root cause of diabetes, in my opinion, from what I can see. And it's certainly worth a shot because when you start this treatment, we will also work with you on lifestyle coaching too as well. Check it out, guys. You can schedule a consultation. Uh, click my profile icon, scroll to the top, click a link there, schedule a consultation, and we'll see you guys later.